is doing a just chatting stream yeah just chatting why do your games suck why did you sell to microsoft you fox yeah why are we so fine yeah yeah hello people it's us two bros game nine i'm your host younger bro i am your other host older bro and we are back playing dragon ball z budokai tenkai g2 sorry i was trying to put in my bluetooth yeah, younger bro is listening to the stream. Uh, so, uh, uh, just to, um, yeah, I was about, I was gonna talk about something off camera. I decided not to talk about it off camera because I think younger bro would love to hear this on camera. So, have you heard the Disney news? I knew that a Disney game was coming out. No, no, no. Yes, this isn't a game fight. About? S about Doctor Strange and Spider Man. Okay. So, one of the people that I'm assuming worked on Doctor Strange and Spider-Man is suing Disney for Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, claiming that they are the actual copyright holders. And they're apparently being co- yeah, apparently they're being sued, like, they- like, they're suing Disney, and Disney is then counter-suing them, and so is Stan Lee's estate, and I'd assume probably Sony- is probably also counter suing them. Basically, everyone in re that's related to Doctor Strange and um, Spider Man. Oh, including Marvel. I think Marvel specifically is suing them. Like, the actual comics portion. Like, not even just the Disney portion. But, like, Why? everyone in relation is suing them. Why? Because I guess they're, cla they're somehow claiming they own part of it. I don't fucking know. I just heard about this and I was like, what the hell? Okay. What the fuck? Like, what's with that? Yeah. That is, that is fucking weird. Yeah. Let me see if I can find any information on it specifically. We'll do some actual news reporting, guys. Um. But that warning, Boo reappears. Now more Gotenksy than ever. Yeah, with that Gotenks cosplay. Yeah. Through trickery, he absorbs Gotenks and Piccolo, once again giving him the upper hand against Gohan. Remember what Majin Buu said. I'm going to destroy you. Um, your Majin Buu. Yeah. What do you mean, remember when Majin Buu said that? Shouldn't you be saying, remember when I said that? Yeah, what the... Yeah, remember what I said, I was going to kill you. The fuck? Yeah, I I actually remember that line as a kid, and when I first heard it, I'm like, "The fuck are you talking about?" Like I'm just dumbfounded. I still hit me. Damn it, I was hopeful. Fuck! What?! Are you kidding me? That was stupid. Apparently, burst rush you can't control. Like, I tried to swipe to the side. And also, I didn't think burst rush had a limit on it. Apparently, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I've crashed him into another one. Oh, not again. Yeah, I can't control Burst Rush. Yeah. Yeah, it... it I, I, I go straight or nowhere else. Apparently, Hershey l loves um, when Gohan's being a badass.
against the power of Boo's transformation, not even Ultimate Gohan can compete. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, having been given the Patara earrings by the Elder Kai, Goku returns to Earth. Yeah, a after being revived, then uh, Goku returns to Earth. Cause Go, I don't think Goku was dead. Vegeta was dead when he was sent to Earth. That's right, Goku. He fights Broly. Yeah, apparently it seems like uh, some of the people who... It's basically some of the... I have... I actually have no even words to even describe this. Yeah, basically it's some of the people related to the Jack Kirby estate, the Stan Lee estate, and other writers' estates are suing, saying, we should be partially copyright holders of this, and not Disney having full copyrights. Um, and, Dis uh, and since this already happened once in the Jack, like with Jack Kirby's estate, and they sued, and they like, you know, settled out of court for a lot of money. I just went to, I went straight to Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much him. the entire event. So let's just say it that way. So the entirety of Marvel. Basically. I don't know how well that's going to go over. Yeah, by the way, uh, is the Scarlett Johansson trial done? No, it's barely started. Also, it'll probably be settled out of court. Um, but yeah, it's, who knows? Goku returns to the battlefield, armed with the Patara earrings. However, Gohan's already dead. Yeah. Huh? What? Where are you? Hurry! Fuse with me to defeat Majin Buu! Nope. How about I eat your son? Don't you want to savor your son? Don't you mean save your son? I know what I said. Gohan, no! <laughs> Why couldn't you dodge? Mm, he was oh, that fucking hell. That would have been the culmination of dodge, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just... Gohan! What have we told you? We about? have been telling you for liter for twenty years to dodge. How have you not learned this yet? Yeah, seriously. Damn it, Piccolo! You were supposed to teach him this. I did teach him that. He didn't listen. Shut up, Boo! I'm not talking to you. <laughs> You stay out of this. We're talking to actual Piccolo. Yeah. I'm actually letting this. him talk. Yeah. <laughs> I am letting him talk. 
He's very disappointed in Gohan as well. Something, something, both of his fathers are very unhappy with this development. <laughs> I don't believe you. There's no way that's Piccolo. I mean, Cell could he do it. He just has a Piccolo-shaped yeah. face. Yeah. Cell could do it. I don't think that was true, though. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Technically, it was true. He could let them do that, but at the same time, he, he also could just act like this. You have so it didn't to get all matter. up in cell. <laughs> you gotta get all up in cell, girl. <laughs> just like, what the hell? You know nothing about us, do you? Let's be honest. I was, what, a microbe when you were uh, doing, you know, when this was happening? To be fair, I just met you. I literally just met you 10 seconds ago. Before Gohan can recover the dropped Patara earring that he dropped at some point, even though this didn't say that, he is snared in Boo's trap, which was the same fucking trap that Gotenks fell into, which he saw, and still didn't fucking prevent, like, remember it. Yeah, fucking hell. Rather than fuse with Goku, Gohan is instead fused with Majin Buu. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the other world, King Yama grants Vegeta his body, even though... Because literally they have no other option, and sends him to Earth to fight with Goku. Well, how the fuck do you fuse with someone who's dead? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was funny. It's like... I'm... I'm glad to have a body again, but how how the fuck am I supposed to get to Earth if I'm dead? Yeah. I will allow Wait a you minute. to be yeah. there. Wait a minute. How did you do that? He was dead. How yeah, did we do that? Apparently people can die twice. Uh, yes. In the Dragon Ball Z universe, uh, if you are killed while in- If you are killed while dead, your, uh, soul dies. So you literally un- You stop existing. Even, I don't even think Zeno could technically revive you at that point. But, I mean, he could also just go back in time, so he doesn't fucking matter. Goku and Vegeta meet again. 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 Yeah. However, Vegeta refuses to combine using the Batara earrings. He also managed to get a fourth pick. Yeah, seriously. Actually, that's a sixth pick. Also, I'm pretty sure we'd be married to both our wives, and that'd be fucking weird. Pride! Remember in the show when they literally spent time discussing that they'd both be married to Chi-Chi and Bulma? <laughs> Remember when that wasn't in the abridged? That's just actually in the show. It's like, who the fuck cares? We'll be able to fuck both of our No! <laughs> who... You know, I remember Akira Toriyama was very disappointed you didn't get with Bulma. So I guess this means he's really trying to get you with Bulma right yeah, now. Yeah, I wonder if that really <laughs> was the real reason. But no. Yeah. Even Bulma admits, I think in Super, that, huh, I might have missed the option to get with Goku. I mean, Goku earns money. Yeah, he... He basically got rich in Super. That was the first episode. Yeah, but to be fair, he oh, only got rich in Super because his son married, uh... Why won't it... Hercule. Uh, well, Vidal, specifically. That, like, Hercule's daughter. It refused to let me turn into Super Saiyan 2 from start. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, he, it's specific... Yeah. I don't know if Gohan would have... I don't know if Gohan would have gotten with Fidel if he'd been with Bulma. Um. Firstly, I don't even know if he would have gone to the same high school. I don't even know if Gohan would have been... Well, it'd be a totally different Gohan. Yeah, that's with what I'm saying. It would, have been a completely, Gohan. it would have been a completely different Gohan. And he wouldn't have gone to... He might not have even gone to high school. They probably would have just homeschooled him. 
Yeah, Videl. So he probably just would have never met Videl. Or Videl might have never existed. But why would Videl not exist? Just because Bulma married Goku. I don't see how that would change anything Hercule did. I know, but... But yeah, Butterfly Effect, she could just not exist, but it doesn't even matter if she existed. He probably just would never have met her, because the only reason he went to Orange Star High School was because that's the nearest high school to Goku's house. Yeah. But if he married Bulma, he probably would have moved into the city. Yeah. Well, honestly, that's a good question. Would Goku ever move into the city? I don't know if he's a city guy. I'm not Bulma sure. might have, like, moved her lab out there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. D debatable. Even fighting side by side, Goku and Vegeta are no match for Majin Buu. V Vegeta! No! Hurry, give it to me. At last, Vegeta swallows his pride and then never brings it back up. And yeah. fuses with Goku. Thus, the ultimate warrior is this not this character. St yeah, it's still not Majin Buu. Well, no. The ultimate warrior is not Majin Buu. It's not Vegito. It's not even Gogeta. Um, it's arguably not even Kefla. Um, like, no. Just still not the ultimate warrior. I mean, I guess... God also, remember, guys, they retconned the fuck out of these earrings. I guess the God of Destruction is the ultimate warrior in a way. Sort of. But let's be honest, the universe's angel is the strongest. Yeah. Again, they've... Yeah. I, I will never not be pissed off that they f fucked with the uh, earrings. It's using Goku's... Like, because c you can't actually defuse with the Patara earrings, can you? In-game. Like, you cannot unfuse with them. No, once you fuse, you just yeah. fuse. Like, you just game. are Vegito now. You cannot unfuse. Like, yeah, I, I will never not be pissed off that they fucked with the Tar earrings. Like, I don't even care that, like, oh, but it was always not permanent. Like, I, mean, I don't it, it fucking It makes care. sense why they unfuse when they were in Boo. Yeah, it makes sense why, like, yeah, I get that, like, oh... I, here's what I'm pissed off about. I'm not pissed off that they're changing it. Like, I'm I'm pissed off they're changing it now. But I'm also pissed off that they didn't say that to begin with. Didn't, didn't thought of it at the time. Yeah, it's like... Because it was already bullshit. They're like, oh, they defused while in Boo. Because Boo's body has an inherent defusing effect or some shit. Which actually does make sense for Boo. He literally breaks down, like, transformations and shit. I could see that being a thing, but if that wasn't the thing, you'd think they would have said something. Oh, but the Supreme Kai didn't know, because he's only seen permanent fusions because he's a Supreme Kai. It's, it's fucking stupid. So yeah, it, it doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense. Again... Yeah. At last, the ultimate warrior Vegeta is born. Yep. I am the fusion of Vegeta and Kakarot. Call me Vegito. So what about me? See, <coughs> See I wish if they were going to do something <coughs> with these fucking earrings, if they were going to be like, oh, the fusions aren't permanent, I wish it was just while you wore the earrings. Yeah, just take the earrings off. But then, oh, you can just defuse, uh, you can just defuse, uh, Goku Black by just removing the fucking earring. So just be tearing his ears off. Why not? Like. But that's too easy. Yeah, well, so is cutting everything in half, and you never fucking do that. Okay, man, I didn't mean to use Big Bang Attack, but okay. And dead. That went straight through yep. him. <laughs> Just and um, This attack is more brutal in the next game. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's already brutal. It's like, what the, what the fuck more could it be brutal about? It's like, it's already as brutal as it can fucking be. Because... What are you talking about? Because on impact in this game, it just disappears. Thanks to the Patara earrings, Vegito is born and completely overwhelms Majin Buu as they're literally not fused in this shot. But at the height of the battle, Buu is transformed into the incarnation of pure evil. We don't even get evil. to turn Super Saiyan, Vegito. Nope. What the hell? You probably could in that fight, but that would be the only time. The they don't even explain why they're no, it, fused! Here's the thing. It, it didn't allow me to turn Super Saiyan in the Broly fight. With Vegito. Oh, okay. So what the fuck? I'm just gonna keep standing here. We're going to use instant transmission. <laughs> it didn't even fucking explain anything. Yeah. They fused, and suddenly they're not fused. It didn't even say they anything. They didn't want to make a Majin Buu map, even though they did that in Budokai. It's fine. I'm just like, they didn't even say like, oh, but then they defused because... They got absorbed by Majin Buu and then broke out. They didn't even put a sentence in about it. It's just like they just suddenly are unfused in the next cutscene. Fuck explaining that shit. In a demonstration of his cruelty, the new evil Buu destroys the Earth with a single blast. A thing that they've... Like, I like the fact that they always try to use this as like, oh, I'm so powerful. But it's like, Goku could have fucking done that in the Frieza saga. This is not impressive anymore. To be fair, Goku could blow up the moon at when he was a kid. That's what I'm saying. This was it's not impressive that you can destroy celestial bodies anymore. Narrowly escaping, Goku and the others will face Boo in a final battle on the world of the Kai's, a planet that has never had combat on it. Doesn't matter what you try, it's all over now. Yeah. It's over, isn't it? Is it they it? say there was never Is combat it on it, but what about when Kid Buu first arrived? From my understanding, they weren't on the Kai. From what I understand, the I think the Kais originally had their own planets too. There was like a separate plan, like planets for the Supreme Kais of each quadrant, but it wasn't here. Because some of them even show other planets. I thought it was just another part of this planet. No, I think it is one here. The battle for the fate of the universe is about to begin. Because, from what I understand, the Kai world is in other worlds. It's not yes. technically in the normal world. It, and it's technically... Boo has never been to other world. I think this world is a little above the other world, but yes, it is still... Yeah, but it's within... It's within the realm of the dead, not within the realm of the living, technically. Yes. I hate this. <laughs> I fucking hate that's, this. Oh, that's great. He spams this move if you do not just yep. immediately fuck him over. Yep. Watch, he's gonna do it again. Didn't let me fucking. Oh my god. Oh. Fuck your shit! <laughs> You're like, no! Fuck you! I'm throwing you into this wall! He's getting hit that time. Yeah, it refuses to let me instant turn into um, yeah. Super Saiyan 2. How do you like it? Still getting hit. You actually did less damage that time. Fuck off. Yeah, that's fair. Good job, Vegeta. And Still here's the thing, succeed. that move, it never runs out. Nope. So even if you try to run from it, it will still catch up to you. Yep. 
they just shortened the Boo Saga in this game. Yep. It's Even though short. it's still one of the long ones, they just cut out a lot of shit in yep. this one. Thank God they fixed that in the third game. It's just like, oh God. Seemingly invincible, the evil Majin Buu easily withstands the Z Fighter's attacks. Vegeta asks the Supreme Kai to summon Purunga and wish the people of Earth back to life. But that didn't work on, like, anyone. Yeah. Their only hope for beating Boo, Vegeta offers to buy Goku the time he needs to form a spirit bomb at the cost of his own fucking life. Yeah. Having been spit out, the original Majin Boo is just around for some reason, because who the fuck cares? Uh, he returns to the battlefield along with Hercule for some damn reason. We don't even know he was here. Yeah. Whatever. Sure. Again, this game's cut out so much shit that you literally don't even know why they're anywhere anymore. Yeah, there's at least two more fights. It's just and like, yep, the, sure. And these are all mandatory. I can't s skip them, and I can't really quit either. No, 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 no. Of course, of course you can't skip them. If you're going to skip them, we wouldn't be doing the full story mode. With everything riding on this one chance, oh, this is final fight. Goku the time he needs to prepare a spirit bomb. He didn't even move yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this has got to be a dream. Come on, Kakarot, let's get started. Oh, not bad, Vegeta. I've got to give you more credit. Go ahead to give me more than that. How about your woman? You're already married. I'm a prince, bitch. No. <laughs> oh come on not even for your wife <laughs> Ready? <Fight>. no <laughs> fuck your shit no he went around. I've never seen the AI he go fucking around he went around you what Never in the seen hell? It. Like, I, I've seen players do it. Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to not be dead right now? No. I thought when Purunga revived everyone, it revived him too. No. No, I'm 100% sure. In the original, he was revived. Because Goku made a point of saying, like, hey, your halo's oh gone. Oh my god! I don't fucking care right now. Like, I'm a hundred percent sure, and yeah. Cause here's the thing: when you're in this animation, you can't do no, anything. No. Well, at least you're at Super Saiyan. Two. Okay, well, he's he's now in a... Uh... Yeah, you did Fuck hit him. Okay. you. You did hit him. I thought you'd miss. I hate fighting Kid Boo. And guess what? It doesn't change in the third game. Still same damn problem. Yep. He just spams it a little bit too much. It's, it's, it's a very good move. And he shows. Why? He is so fucking annoying. Yeah. They did this scene better in the third game. Cause the That's fair. The spirit bomb looks so much better in the third game. Yeah. Well, I imagine. Go! You remember the part when even Majin Buu actually isn't pure evil and can still hold and push back the spirit bomb somehow? Yeah, this shouldn't be possible. Yeah, it really should not. We don't know who the voice of this is. We've not heard Dende. them before. Like, seriously, we've not heard Dende. 
No. In the entire series, we don't know who, any context who the fuck's talking right now. Yeah, when I first played this game, I'm like, who the fuck's Dende? You're the most powerful opponent I've ever faced. I hope you'll come back someday as someone good. We'll have a little one-on-one. -on -one. I'll keep training hard, and when the day comes, I'll be waiting. Why are you thrusting while holding Hercule? What? Yeah, what the but, fuck are you talking about? Vegeta's arm was going up and down while he's holding on the <laughs> Congratulations, you've destroyed one Majin Buu. It's over. Isn't it? Yeah, look how they do thumbs up. Yeah, for, it, it, it almost looks, looks like he was flipping you off in that scene. Yeah, it looks so fucking weird. They can't do thumbs up right. Yeah, I don't think you understand how hands work. With one final explosion, wait a minute, that's a different attack. With one super bomb. With some assistance from Hercule and Vegeta. Goku was able to gather the energy for a spirit bomb. Yep, we saw that already. Powered by the hopes of all the people of Earth, the spirit bomb completely obliterated the evil Majin Buu. Yay! In the battle's aftermath, Goku expressed his wish that Buu would be reborn as someone good. Hey, hey look! <laughs> yeah, I still don't understand how the <laughs> fuck Majin Buu worked. Because, like... It, it, it's the Supreme Kai come back, but... Yeah, but, no, no, I get that. Like, I get that, like, original Kid Buu absorbed two of the, like, absorbed, like, two of the Kais, and then absorbed Daikaio, and that's how he became Good Buu. And then... Good Buu let out all of his evil energy, basically, into an evil Buu. Which then absorbed him, but then somehow removing him didn't go back to the evil Boo. It just went back to original Boo. Yeah. So why didn't the evil Boo that he let free just be the original one? Like, what? A what if story about Goku and Vegeta's greatest match? Like, how the fuck wasn't the one that he let go? It was all the evil energy, just the original version. I don't know. And how would removing him from the original version, or from the evil version, not turn him back into that version? And on that day, what? what happened, a new world tournament is to be held. Of course it is. Goku and Vegeta. Of course it is. Their last opportunity to settle the score. For some reason. With nothing to hold them back, these two mighty warriors will decide once and for all which of them is the best. Like no one ever was. Um, yeah, guys, I don't remember this scenario at all. I, I know I've completed it, but I just don't remember. How it. isn't this just one fight? Uh, because it include. I, I think they switch it to where Goten wins the tournament instead of Trunks. So it might be just two, maybe three. Yeah, it's Goten. But what I'm saying is the whole point of this arc is supposed to be about Goku and Vegeta fighting. I, I, it might just be the tournament fights for all I know. Like, it, it, it's just all the tournament fights, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready? Fight! Where'd you go? Found you! Yeah, he hit me for like a second. Yeah. It's just something so funny that. Broly just gets one tapped by one key blast. <laughs> yeah. That's still pretty strong, even for, uh... Yeah, I think Goten's sprite and Trunks' sprite look kind of bulky. Maybe. Like, very weird. Well, I'm sure Goten's just based on Kid Goku. Look and feel weird. 
the bros come yeah they both have bros kamehameha which is weird yep. yeah this time gohan is summoned the only difference is goten talks it still does a shit ton of damage yep it's very powerful yeah, they changed it to be like an actual key blast in the third game, which is so nice. Also in the third game, when you complete uh, a struggle like that, uh -huh. you know, when you're clashing, yep. um, it will just immediately continue the attack. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Third game is so much nicer. Well, okay, I should say some do, not all. I think the ones with the shorter, like, length don't, and the ones that can travel across the whole map can. Yeah. Yeah. Now, wait, what are we looking at to the team? Uh, it's not, it's not even been 40 minutes yet. My goodness. You, you still got a long time to go. We might be able to get through this, then. Here's the tournament. During a serious injury during his training with Goten, Gohan had to drop out of the world tournament. Ah, uh, some bullshit. What? And Hercule's daughter Videl was so worried about him that she stayed by his side to nurse him back to health. Yeah, it's some bullshit. So, on the day of the world Seriously though, in what fucking universe would this happen? Do you think Gohan's okay? Don't worry, Goten. Once he gets a sense of being, he'll be fine. Yeah, why didn't that just happen? I threw a rock too hard at his head. <laughs> it's his own fault. He let himself get soft. Come on, give it a rest, Vegeta. We should be focusing on the final rounds that are coming up soon. Let's do our best for Gohan. Yeah, I will. The final match of the tournament's youth division featured... Yeah, remember how the youth division Gohan. keeps existing and not existing? Yeah, they they after Trunks and Goten's fight, they kind of just were like, yeah, new. No. But this was also like the first year they had it. They keep going back and forth like, we're going to have a youth division. Now we're not going to have a youth division. Now we're going to have a youth division again. Because like when Goku was a kid, there was no youth division. They just fought, all fought in one tournament. Yeah. And win. Ring out! Wow, that's cheap. <laughs> it's super fast, though. Yeah, every time I'm on the tournament map, I really try to go for the ring out. Even when you're in PvP mode, you can still ring out your opponent and just immediately win. Yeah. E even in multi-fights, like where you have more than one character, yeah, you still win that if you do a ring out. Yeah, that's why I hate and love that. Yeah, you're. Mm. We're both kids. That I do remember. Okay. Imagine they tried to steal Goku's energy because Gohan wasn't here. She's like, I'm dead. That's not how that works. What, d does this time Android 18 just say fuck him, become the world martial arts champion? Um. Well, Goku probably just beat 18. Actually, who was fighting 18? Oh, more Piccolo. Okay. But okay! What is it, Piccolo versus Krillin? Maybe. Oh, please be Piccolo versus Krillin. <laughs> they actually finally have they that actually fight. Have a no, it's fight. Piccolo versus Vegeta. Did you know they've never fought? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then we'd bring up, hey, do you remember this what if story from Dragon Ball game? <laughs> oh, oh, that'd be fucking great. No. But yeah. But they've never officially fought. Well, they officially fought in the game. Okay, then they'll fight in Xenoverse. Does that count? That's still... That's almost official. <laughs> Took off two bars of health. <laughs> oh my god, it just wrecks anybody. 
Get out. So oh, do you I'm think sorry. this will kill him? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you to get up. <laughs> Just like no, I guess not. Uh, you don't need that, bro. I, I lightly tapped him. I tapped him out. You tapped him. Yeah. I gave Broly a little love tap on his uh, suplex. I don't no, you don't. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, go back to the tournament and fight probably Krillin. <laughs> it's eighteen. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> it's somebody. It's Tien. <laughs> oh, come on! It's Tien. <laughs> what was Krillin busy? <laughs> Krillin easily defeats the giant Pintar. Pintar. Yeah. Of course yeah, he Pintar. did. Making it through the first match. Oh, right. And in the second match... How the fuck can you remember this? And in the second match, Piccolo faces a mysterious fighter named Shin Kikoho! Wait, is, the, is, is it, Shin yeah. who the Kikoho comes from? I don't know. Yeah, in this world, he doesn't realize it's the Supreme Kai of time. Yeah. Not no. time. Supreme Kai. <laughs> if it was the Supreme Kai of time, I that'd leave. be great. I would fucking leave. Just The Supreme Kai, Kronoa just shows up. It's just like, hmm, sure, why not? They also removed the, like, uh... Being able to go like way far back with the, the knockback, like there isn't much knockback on this. Yeah, on field, this stage. so that you can't. Yeah, that's <laughs> just throw them into a wall immediately. It does this game do the thing where like if you touch the walls, yes. you ring out. Yes. So even if you hit the invisible wall, it's just like yeah, no, it's ring out. bullshit. I remember the doing ring that so out much. for everything. With his improved skills, Piccolo proved more than Shin could handle. Really. You've been watching. Where have you been? You're pretty good. I wasn't expecting to meet an opponent like you. As Shin speaks, Piccolo suddenly realizes the true identity of his mysterious opponent and surrenders. Oh, really? The Supreme Kai? Oh, what have I done? Please be quiet. I don't want anyone to know. Just yet. The Supreme Kai has come to Earth to present the wizard... Or prevent the wizard Bobbity from reviving Majin Buu. If you could lend me some of your power. Thus, Piccolo agrees to help the Supreme Kai put a stop to Bobbity's evil plan. Oh, now I remember this scenario. Yeah, normally he just surrenders immediately, like, I'm not fighting you. Yeah, but um, I remember this what if scenario. Yeah, somehow Piccolo and Supreme Kai have time, both of them. Supreme just Kai. Sorry, I, I Every time I, you say Supreme Kai, it's just a I'm on a Xenoverse 2 yep. binge right now, so... I, I don't know how to tell you this, but the Supreme Kai is not always of time. Sometimes they're the Supreme Kai's of space. I wouldn't even know if I'd call them that. Well, what the fuck else would you call them? Oh, this is shit. <laughs> well, you're dead. You're fucking dead, son. Ugh. Well, I think I fought Hercules Broly. It wasn't that terrible. It's just it takes a while to kill Broly. Yes, it takes a fuck ton of time because it's Broly. Ready? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I swore he grabbed you. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting, but you know what? That works too. I was trying to use present bomb. Oh. Yeah, present oh. bomb cancels any kind of rush yes. attack. Yes, you just straight can't. Can't cancel this. Can oh, yeah. Free suplex. I <laughs> just tried. No. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> Hercule's actually kind of a decent character. He should not be. That's not gonna work. Oh. 
you're throwing them underwater. They can't blow up underwater. So fucking stupid. Kobe. You're throwing them underwater. They can't blow up. I know the present bomb still blows up, but... That should not work. By the way, um, water just kind of lets them... Fuck. It got you right as it ended. This is what it looks like to spam, Broly. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck did you do? I broke the game! You broke, I the, broke camera. the animation! Wait, there's a Dragon Ball! I know, I know, I know! How in the fuck did you miss that Dragon Ball? God fucking damn it. I have no idea where the Dragon Ball is now. <laughs> I HATE THIS GAME! That was, t to be fair, it's shit getting the Dragon Balls underwater. But it's even more shit to try to get his fucking Hercule! Yes, with his floaty bullshit movement. It's bad. That was, yeah, that was great. It was terrible, but great. Completely kicked around him. But yeah, I definitely broke the yeah. animation. Yeah, honestly, I liked that animation. It looked better without the fucking gut scene. <laughs> like, could we have that always? That was actually just a better shot. But I guess they didn't change the 18 fight. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I like how the jetpack just fucking doesn't work in fights and just constantly fails, but in overall travel, he just goes forever. <clears throat> yeah, seriously. Like, he shouldn't have, like, a problem staying in the air when he has a jetpack. In the fifth match, it's a showdown between the champ Hercule and Android 18. Carrying nothing for the title, Android 18 makes an offer to throw the fight for a price. Could Hercule eventually defeat Android 18? Eventually. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love the fact she says she'll throw the fight, but she literally still fights you. Yeah, there's no real difference except for what she says. Yeah. She does it for a price this time instead of just taking the prize money. Well, that is the price. The price is the prize money. Right. If <laughs> she throws you out of bounds. Yeah, there is more knockback on the present bomb. Uh, you are in a dangerous position, man. But yeah, there's more knockback on this attack. Yeah. You know, this whole letting me win thing's not going over very well. Oh yeah, she also knows Destructor Disc. Oh, uh, which I always forget. Only do one thing. This is a shitty fight. I love how she just, everyone just stands there completely like, what? Just letting it happen. Fuck there you. you go. Got her.
perfectly timed. I wish you just said negative 20 million zenny on there. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. She's like, what? No! Yeah, that, that's actually trying to be funny. As promised, 18 lets her kill win. Even if I do beat you, I'd have to fight those two next. And they aren't going to be easy. How will Hercule's fate be decided? And finally, it's the main event of the competition. The sixth match. Goku versus Vegeta. In the first round. They didn't even save this for the fi- That's how you knew this tournament was never going to go anywhere. When they weren't the final match. It was like, no, nah, never mind. This is a Not red herring. They're not the final damn match. It's like, not final match, that something bullshit's gonna happen. Uh, by the way, we have uh, about eight minutes. So we will have enough time for both these fights. Or should. Well, I was guessing that this ain't a fight, so it might be three fights. Three fights. <laughs> oh, God. Grandpa, Grandpa Gohan. Gohan! Yes. He is no match for you. No. Oh. Not even drunken boxing will save you here. Nope. Ready? Fight. Still didn't yep. take that long. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't terrible. Master Roshi's people. Goku. Yep. <laughs> no, that's Master Roshi. I know! I've never been able to... What the fuck? I think okay. it's broken. Yeah, this one... This one's broken. Yeah. I don't think I should... I, I, I shouldn't be able to return there. Don't know what to tell you, man. It's a weird scenario. Yeah, I'm right in front of you, you dingus. Like, what the heck? I'll I'll do that fight again just to be sure, but no, you you did. You're not supposed to be you, able to. Usually it just disappears. Yeah, fucking numb thing. Bring out. If only. Guess what, Broly does actually- oh. Any day. Damn it. Hmm. Well played. Well played. This fight's getting real. Sorry, you thought you were the Legendary Super Saiyan. I'm pretty sure that's me. Legendary Super Saiyan 3. Puny legend. <laughs> You're just like, no! <laughs> God damn it, he does it with Super Dragon legs. Fist! You, you bitch. You ignore Super I don't know how Super to fucking Dragon counter Fist. it! Like, when you're in that animation, I don't know how the fuck to get out. Yeah. Again, the third game fixes that. I really can't wait to face this thing. How does it feel to be fisted by Shenron? Shenron approves. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, Super Dragon Fist is a great technique. Just, I summon Shenron to, like, 
cut, like literally rip you in half. Yeah, it's good in these games, but it's not that. I I don't consider it that great in Xenoverse Two. No. I mean, if you can land it, you can definitely one shot your opponents, but you have that's to if land you it. land it. Yeah. Yeah. At last, the long-awaited showdown between these rivals will be held in the tournament ring. Now remember, Vegeta, don't destroy the ring. Uh. <laughs> Same goes for you, Kakarot. I'm not going to lose to you this time. <laughs> we'll see. I like how they're both just like... We lose every... Yeah, every tile you damage, you lose points. <laughs> Every time the ring gets a crack in it, you lose points. Yeah, they ha they're doing a personal contest. We're gonna we're gonna kick the shit out of each other, and the person who damages the least tiles wins. And ring out. <laughs> That's kind of happened to me before. In some of the games, that does happen, where, uh, you know, you you get gravitated. Really, Are you Kakarot? fucking serious? Are you satisfied with a ring out? Really? Really? You fucking serious? With one punch, they both destroyed the ring. <laughs> with one finger, they destroyed the ring. <laughs> Though it seemed the two could go on fighting forever, some goddamn how, in the end, Goku scores a victory. Thus, Vegeta and Goku quit the world tournament in search of a more suitable place to fight. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're leaving this pathetic excuse for a town. But that's not how that's supposed to work. Now how long do we got left? Uh, less than one minute. Less than one minute? Yeah. How can there be less than one minute? Uh, because it's like, I don't know, about 30 seconds right now. 30 seconds? 30 seconds, you know, half a minute. Yeah, I'm... The, f the full definition of less than a minute. Yeah, this controller is still kind of antsy. Yeah. Alright, guys, well, that is going to have to be it for today's episode. I thought we would get close to the end. No. Um, I think we still have the Vegeta fight, and we have something to do with Majin Buu. So, Probably. we'll finish this scenario next time, and then start Broly's second coming. Yeah, so that is gonna for be some a, reason. Yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. So, like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. Comment to our videos. We do read them. Follow on Twitch, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Good night, everyone.